lights on. Hi folks, Hunter here with Johnson Motors. I uh, just want to do a short walk around video. Uh, we just got this back from our uh, from our detail bay. Just got it detailed. Anyways, uh, it turned out real nice actually. Um, it was pretty clean when we got it, but um, I wanted to make it extra clean. So uh, this is a 2005 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon TJ, and it's in stone white. You have to forgive me. It's hot today. It's about 105 degrees outside. I've been running around all day. That being said, this Jeep obviously has no overheating issues because I've been driving it pretty much all day in 105 degree weather and Dallas traffic. So uh, it's got a, as I said, it's a 2005 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon TJ, stone white. This is a two owner Jeep. Um, you don't see a whole lot of clean ones like this anymore. Um, this is a super clean Jeep, it's two owner. I was originally uh, purchased new in Washington and uh, second owner owned it in Oklahoma. So. Um, it's definitely uh, lifted. I'll get into that in a second, but the actual body is in superb condition. It hasn't been cut um, or, you know, any, any, the frame hasn't been cut on, body hasn't been cut on, anything like that. It does have aftermarket lift on it. That was on, the original owner put that on there. Um, the guy we bought it off of did not put it on, but it seems to be a really good quality lift, so that's good. Uh, if you're looking for a rock crawler off-roader and uh, one, you know, one of the coolest rigs you can get your hands on, this is it so i'll be honest with you it's not the best highway rig it does track i've driven it been driving it all day it does track great down the road you can take your hands off the steering wheel it drives straight and true but it's very bumpy it's a very tall lift it's a four inch terraflex lift and uh it's long arm kit and uh it's just it's kind of rough on the highway so <laughs> i probably wouldn't drive it over 70 miles an hour uh it actually does pretty good at like 60 65 but Surf's getting pretty, it's, you're in six gear, there's not a whole lot of space left to get over six if you're trying to pass people. So probably not the best highway car, but really fun Jeep, uh, really great off-roader um, or weekend driver, something like that. Anyways, as I said, two owner, really good clean history, clean title, no wrecks of any kind. The paint on this is all original. We have not cosmetically done anything to this vehicle and for its age, it's in fantastic condition. It's had this decal added here, American flag, kind of cool. I left it because I liked it. Um, other than that, everything's original. Lettering's all original. The paint on it is just superb. There's no hail damage. There's no paint fade. Clear coat's not failing anywhere. Um, there's really no dents, major body damage, anything like that. Um, the interior is the same way. It's in really good condition. So um, yeah, let me, uh, speaking of that, let me show you the interior. I don't know if you can see, I'll post a bunch of undercarriage pictures, but zero rust at all the frame is fantastic as well as the tub and the body so you'll see some minor wear and tear uh just from age and miles although the miles are actually really good on this one it's got sixty-nine thousand miles on it leather wrapped steering wheel you get a lot of those upgrades with the rubicon package i'll go over what the rubicon package is in a minute for those of you who don't know most of you looking at this probably already know but uh Oh, I also forgot to mention this is a six-speed manual. So they made the six speeds in 05 and 06 before uh, in 07 they switched over to the JK. So last two years of the TJ are six-speed. Prior to that, they're five-speed. Uh, soft top, although what's, orig or what's interesting is this car originally came with, this Jeep, I should say, sorry. It originally came with a dual top group. So it had a hard top and soft top. I have no idea what happened to the hard top. It disappeared a long time ago. The second owner bought it this way. Who knows where it is or what happened to it. Um, anyways, but it originally did have a hard top on it. So you'll see the controls for the rear wiper, rear defroster, all that good stuff uh, hooked up and ready to go. So if you wanted to put a hard top on this, it would be factory correct and you'd have all the hookups already. Anyways, um, yeah, let's take a look at the other side. Carpet's in really good condition. Tires are pretty good. These are sitting on 35 inch tires or Toyos. At some point, somebody has changed the exhaust here. It's not loud. It sounds like the stock exhaust. I think what they did is they just tucked it up because of the lift. So like I said, it's, it's set up for off-roading right now. Stubby antenna. Uh, I'm trying to think of other aftermarket things on it. That's about it. Soft top is the original soft top. It's actually a really good shape. It's not really faded out, torn, anything like that. I would, if it was my personal car, I would just keep it on there. There's really no reason to replace it. But uh, I think these might have been touched up or replaced at some point. They're really new looking and in really good condition. They're totally factory. Um, they did a really good job. They're just kind of replacement stock OEM fender flares. 
but usually they would be from my from what I've seen, these are usually faded out to gray and these are black. They look excellent and they're in excellent condition. There's no dings or scratches on them, but I find that a little hard to believe up to the original ones. So anyways, uh, these door handles are in good shape. Like I said, all the paint on the whole car is really good. There's the passenger side. Pretty basic. TJs are kind of the last old school basic Jeep. Obviously they're all two doors. This is a short wheelbase, unless you get the long unlimited wheelbase to LJ, but uh, back seats in it, it's good. It does have these seat covers on. Uh, seats are actually good condition, uh, just like the carpet. I left these seat covers on though because they're actually uh, the, the neoprene seat covers. They, they, I think they make the seats more comfortable and uh, they're in good shape. So if you don't like them, you can take them off. But that's the story on that. The only thing that doesn't work on this vehicle, I will mention, is sort of the stereo. The stereo on its factory OEM stereo. The stereo itself works, but all the speakers are blown out. So fire beware, all the speakers are blown out. They work, sound comes out of them, but they are awful to listen to. I would definitely uh, probably praise the speakers if it was my personal car. Other than the speakers being blown out, everything else on the car functions, works as it should. This car has zero issues, no leaks, um, and it's good to go. So all the fluids are top notch. We just changed the oil on it. Everything else looked pretty good. Obviously it's got the Warren winch up front, controls in the back, it works. Let me uh, pop the hood. Oh, one other aftermarket thing on this. Uh, these are clear instead of amber, and it does have the LEDs. They are aligned properly, though, and they actually work. A lot of aftermarket LEDs I'm not a big fan of, but these uh, seem to do the job pretty well. There's not a whole lot of bug chips in the front, which tells me this vehicle has probably not seen a whole lot of highway mileage. Um, it's probably been driven around town and off-road. So here is the reason why a lot of you guys like these if i can find a, a hood stick here the there we go 4.0 4 liter amc inline six also known as 242 cubic inch uh great engine the engine bay is actually really clean if you look around it like i said there's zero rust i can tell it's been off-road some because if you just look on the way back they've off Somebody cleaned it up, they did a good job with it, but you'll see dirt and stuff on like hoses and things like that where, yeah, it's probably seen some dirt, but um, nothing serious, nothing major. This is extremely clean. Like I said, zero rust, there's zero corrosion on any component of this car. Uh, pretty sweet. You just don't see a whole lot of Rubicons like that left with mileage like this. So uh, I'll, let me start it up one more time for you so you can hear the engine run. And uh, like I said, everything's good on it. All the fluids are good. It's in excellent shape. If you have any other questions about this Jeep, contact us anytime. JohnstonMotorsales.com is our website. You can contact me directly, JohnstonMotors54 at gmail.com. Uh, like, tag, and share our Facebook as well as this YouTube channel. Thanks for keeping up with us. And uh, if this one doesn't suit your fancy, we got many other Jeeps either for sale or in the works that we're looking to uh, bring to you. So, anyways, give us a shout anytime, 940 808 2382. And uh, stay cool, folks.